Hi, today I'm going to be installing some ground effects on a 2014 Camaro. Let's get started. This ground effect kit is made by Rozzy, and it's a pre painted kit, and I got it from eBay. Here's a look at what the bumper looks like now. Not much to it. So, our first step is going to be to dry fit the bumper. So, we just slide the bumper over the existing one and get it in place and make some measurements, make sure it's even. And then once we have it in place, I'm going to use some tape to mark exactly where it was. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Now that we got the tape mark in it, we can go ahead and pull the bumper back off. And it'll be a good idea to have two people to take that on and off so you don't drop it and damage it. Now I'm going to use some wax and grease remover to clean the bumper off. So we're going to clean it nice and good so our adhesive sticks to it good. So this kit comes with eight adhesive blocks and these blocks are plastic on one side and then they have adhesive tape on the other. So we're going to go ahead and stick four of these adhesive blocks on the rear bumper here. So I'm going to put two on each side. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and jack up the car and pull off both back tires. That way we can access the inner fender well so we can screw in the, the bumper. Alright, so here's a look at the, the back of the rear bumper. We're going to apply a liberal amount of glue in various areas on the back of the bumper here. And you want to make sure you have a big bead of glue right where it makes contact with those adhesive blocks you've already put on the bumper. So let's go ahead and slide that bumper back on. And then press it firmly into place. And now we want to make sure it's exactly lined up with the tape. Now we're going to go to the side of the bumper here, and on the inner fender well, we're going to attach two screws, one on top and one on the bottom for now. And we're going to go back and touch those up later. Alright, now we're going to be on the side skirts here. Let's get started on those. There's a, a look at them. So our first step with the side skirts is going to be removing the weather stripping inside the door jam here. Go ahead and remove that and be careful not to break any of your clips. And we're going to use some needle nose pliers to pull those out. Now on the inside of the fender well here we're going to remove the top screw and in the front we're going to remove the top screw also. Now we're going to go ahead and press it into place and it may be a good idea to put a blanket or something underneath this just in case it falls so you don't scratch it. And it'll line up with your uh, body lines there pretty good. Now I'm going to use a countersink bit here to drill some holes, and that lets the, the screws sink down and not stick above the plastic. So I'm going to drill a hole about every six inches or so. And there's a look at it now. And all those screws are sitting flush, none of them are sitting above the plastic. There's a look at all the holes I had to drill. Now we're going to go ahead and drill a hole on the inside of the, the side skirt here. And that's going to line up with that screw you took out earlier. So you're going to drill a hole through there and line up with the old hole. And then put a screw in it. And then we're going to do the same thing in the front. So after you get your top screws in, you can go ahead and put a screw on the bottom of each side there. Once you got it secured with two screws on each end there, you can go ahead and put that weather stripping back on. And that'll cover all the screws that you just put in. Alright, now it's time to start with the front bumper here. We're going to do another dry fit. Get it in place and measure and make sure it's exactly where you want it. And we're going to go ahead and use some tape to mark it again. So get it all marked. Now we're going to clean it again with our wax and grease remover. So adhesive sticks to it really well. Alright, now we're going to attach our adhesive blocks on this end. We're going to do two blocks on each side. There's a closer look at it. Now we're going to apply glue to the inside of the front bumper. So we're going to apply a liberal amount throughout the inside of it here. And the only place it really makes contact is on the top lip. So 
Now we're going to go ahead and slide that back on. Make sure it's lined up nice and good. Now we're going to move to the inside of the fender well and we're going to drill some holes there to secure the sides of the front bumper here. So go ahead and drill a hole on the top and the bottom. Alright, once you got your screws in place there, we're going to apply some rubber sealant inside the gap here. There's a gap that's uh, about a quarter inch and we're going to fill that with some rubber sealant. So I'm going to apply a thick coat of uh, rubber sealant there and then use a putty knife to pull it into place. And I recommend if you don't have a lot of practice doing this that you should practice before you attempt this. It's not as easy as it looks. Alright, and then here's a look at the, the screws on that rear fender well. I added some more screws and then I added some rubber sealant back here also. Now we're going to go ahead and touch these up with some black paint or whatever color your car is. Mine's black. So I'm going to get these touched up so they're all black. Alright, there's a closer look at them now that they're touched up. Alright, then on the exhaust tip, it was too short with this new bumper. So I went ahead and cut the exhaust tip and got a coupling to extend it out another couple inches. And then I'll get that welded later on. But for now, I'm just going to attach it with screws. All right, we're all done. Here's what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with the looks of this kit and the quality. It drastically changed the looks of the car. Look at that rear bumper, that changed it quite a bit back there. Here's a good look at those side skirts. They got a real cool body line to them there. Alright, thanks for watching. This is CLS All in One. Please subscribe.